Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pass Money. Today, we just go go through a little exercise. Um, we're going to talk about the best, the things that we like about a certain topic. So today, the topic is the things that we like about real estate is a blank. So we're going to go back and forth, me and Alex. We're going to give three different things that we like. So Alex, we're going to start off with you. What's one of the things that you like about real estate? Um. You had this is something that you had mentioned to me before, uh, but being someone that started with like stocks, um, being able to invest in real estate and seeing that your real estate can appreciate way faster than stocks can, uh, I think that's pretty cool. And also just the fact that, you know, say like you invest in dividend stocks, um, you need the capital to pull in, say, the the revenue or the uh, income you would pull in from the equivalent of a rental property. Whereas with the rental property, if you know what you're doing, you can leverage it correctly and not need as much capital to pull in that same amount of income. So uh, I think the income that you can make from it and the, the appreciation is pretty impressive. It's not like he just named all three of yours off the bat. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, okay, all right. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go deep that deep into it. Uh, so for me, for me, one thing that I like about uh, real estate is the tax advantages that this is my number one. The tax advantages that it allow. Um, it allows it allows to write off a lot of things. Um, it allows to. It, the the it's not you're not taxed at an income you know you're not taxed at you know an active income range for for the uh, assets that you have so the tax benefit is the number one thing that I like about real estate. Alice, what you got for number two? Um, I would say this is probably the more evil part of me, but I I, I think it's cool like owning little pieces of the world each property you buy. <laughs> so, I don't know, just kind of like the monopoly game. Um, just knowing that you can grow and grow and grow your portfolio. And and I mean that's that's the thing is only a little piece by piece, growing it, you know, one at a time, you know, 20 units at a time, whatever. Just every deal produces more income. That's that's a good one. Uh for me, the the number two thing, and it's gonna sound corny. Um, the number two thing is having the ability to help people out and what i mean by help people out being a landlord is not i mean yeah you offer in um you give them a place to stay you invest in but let's be real being a real estate investor the reason why you offer them a place to stay because you can find a financial benefit out of it but what i mean by helping people out is is i like the fact that i can do i can go and do deals that that's better than most, you know, most people just go out there and be like, oh, they listed, they listed it for this price. This is the price. This is what I'm going to pay. I'm not. And I can go do a deal and I can make the deal so advantageous that I benefit as a real estate owner or investor, but also the tenants uh, be able to uh, benefit. What I mean by that is 99% of my tenants, 99%. I have one that pays, you know, over uh, market rate, but 99% of my tenants don't even pay market rate for their rent. So giving them that ability, you know, letting their income grow and then they can still pay me. And the reason why they don't pay, they don't pay market rates for rent is because I did the deal so good that they can still get their, you know, they can pay the rent and we both benefit and they're not paying market rates. They're not getting stretched in and I'm still operating on a good level and it's, it works out for both of us. So it's corny, you know, nobody want to hear, Oh, I'm helping people out. But that's the, that's the real reason why I like real estate. What's your number two? Um, my next, I mean, what's your number three? Yeah. My yeah. next one is the, the freedom that comes with it. Um, and I wouldn't say I'm, I'm not going to say I'm 100% free yet um i think i would still be living tight and pushing hard if i say lost my job and it was just dependent on you know our outsource income streams 
but mm-hmm. more and more, I would say like each deal I can get done and the more I can grow, you know, our portfolio, there's this like sense of, you know, I've accomplished this. Now I can say, enjoy a little bit more of life or whatever. Um, because I'm a firm believer in like, you need to be, you don't, I'm a firm believer in you don't deserve any leisure if you're broke. And um, I mean, I'm just I like that. I like that. I'm going to say it just like that. I mean, I really don't believe you deserve any leisure at all uh, because I think you have a lot of work, a lot of work to do. And I still at points limit how much I give myself in leisure. I'm not out here going to Dubai or trying to live it up in Machu Picchu or whatever. Like, you know, so I'm still, you know, limiting myself until I can reach further and further my goals. You sound like you got something to say, or you look like you got something to say. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm, uh, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, when when he's when he say he don't when he say he don't uh, he don't splurge he don't splurge. <laughs> if it's if it's a penny hanging out there, he ain't spending it. He ain't getting. He ain't doing nothing. He ain't, <laughs> just, he ain't doing nothing. Oh man, nothing. My vice, I guess, is like you know, travel is something I I hadn't really done growing up or nothing but <laughs> that's not his vice I'm, I'm so glad i'm on this i'm so glad i'm on this video his vice is finding ways this is his vice i swear to you his vice is finding the cheapest way to do everything that's that's his only vice He's like, hey, let's go to Mars. Hey, you know, if we take off the gas filter to the rocket, we can get there for cheaper. That's his only vice. He don't have advice for anything else. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> okay, look. If there's a cheaper way to do things, it should be done. That's it. That's it. That's, that's his vice. That's, that's his vice. His only vice. Oh, man. He can't say, "Oh yeah, I you know I gotta have a drink. I gotta have no." His vice is, "Oh, well yeah. If we take the onions off the Big Mac, then you should get me twenty cents less off that." Catch up. We already need it. We got our own packets. You know that's that's him. That's him. Man. So yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty accurate. I'm not gonna argue. Oh man. Mm-hmm. But yes, <laughs> I, I would say that. I, yeah, I still restrict myself a lot because I think I still got a lot of work to do, you know, um, but I allow myself a little bit more and more each time I, I do more. But I think you have to earn your leisure is is what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, sorry for wiping my nose all on the screen because it's, it's getting ready. But yeah, no, you're you're absolutely right. Everything you said was right. I mean. You restrict yourself early so you can benefit later. I agree. Alex don't restrict himself. He's in a coma. He don't do nothing. But um, all right, so my third thing, let me get to my third thing. My third thing uh, about real estate investing, like Alex, you know, I don't celebrate nothing. I always look at the first of the month as, you know, that's my birthday. I mean, the reason why I say it's my birthday is because I uh, have the ability to bring money in. You know, I get to have the ability to hear new excuses from uh, property managers and uh, tenants. You know, I always and this is the nerd in me. I want to hear the next excuse that I haven't heard before. So I'm I'm waiting for the first to get here. I'm like eager to hear from it. You know, besides getting the rent, that's great. But I want to hear an excuse that I haven't heard before. And then sometimes I hear it. Sometimes I don't. And then, so it's just like my birthday. I get older. I get more mature in this uh, realm of investing. But the first of the month is always something new for me. It's not. It's always going to be some some new thing, especially when you have as many units as I have. It you're going to see something different every month. As far as cash flow, as far as repair issues, as far as you know something else that comes up. I mean, my my property managers they love to hit me on a Friday. Right, not not Friday morning. They want to hit me Friday at like four p.m. Close of business. Be like, hey, this all this. Look at all these problems, and then 
be gone for the weekend. That's that's what they try to do. But I, I got a way to circumvent that also. But that's what they do. And but the thing is, it always brings me new things so I can learn about, so I can get more educated about. I mean, whenever they send me a problem, I'm not sitting here panicking like, oh my God, what do I do? Early in my journey, I was like that. Now I'm like, oh, okay, so this happens. And then that's and it goes back to the thing of building relationships with uh with contractors, with uh general contractors and things like that, plumbers, electricians, you know, having that, even if they don't work on the projects that I have, is somebody I can, you know, bounce ideas off of. And then so I tell them what the issue is. They'd be like, all right, this, this, this. And then I can always go back to the property man. I mean, the property managers or whatever. And then they're like, all right, this is what we're doing. So, but the first of the month, I call it my birthday because I get one month older into the cycle. I get more educated. Yeah, the money comes in. Of course, I'm not going to do nothing with the money. So the money comes in is great, but it gives me more education on what's going on out there. What new excuses comes out there how the tenant's doing. It gives me an idea on the financial cycle, seeing if, is it, you know, is it just my tenant struggling or is it everybody struggling? You know, giving me opportunity to talk to the property managers to see what they're doing and other things, other properties that they're managing in the area to uh, get a better understanding. So those are the th things that I, when it comes to real estate that I like. Very interesting. I would have to learn from you those things because like, you know, as Everyone watching knows that's following us for a while. I don't. I still don't have a property management, so that would be interesting. Yeah. All right. With all that being said, guys, um, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.